Um, well, I do think it's true that if the world goes to hell in a handbucket, handbasket, that you, you people will be in the right company. We've got a lot of cash, and we know how to behave well in a panic. Uh, and if the world doesn't go to hell, are things so bad now? <laughs> and I also want to report that your vice chairman is getting new social distinction. I've been invited during this gathering to go to a happy hour put on by the Bitcoin people. <laughs> And I tried to figure out what the Bitcoin people do in their happy hour, and I finally figured it out. They celebrate the life and work of Judas Iscariot. Is your invitation still good? <laughs> <laughs> well, Bitcoin, actually, on my honeymoon in 1952, my bride, 19, and I, 21, uh, stopped in Las Vegas. We just got in my aunt. Alice gave me the car and said, have a good time, and we went west. So we stopped in the Flamingo, and I looked around, and I saw all of these well-dressed, they dressed better in those days, well-dressed people who had come, in some cases, thousands of miles away. And this was before jets. So transportation wasn't as good. And they came to do something that every damn one of them knew was mathematically dumb. And I told Susie, I said, we are going to make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine people going to stick money on some roulette number with a zero and a double zero there and knowing the percent. They all could do it, and they, they just do it. And I have to say, Bitcoin is re has rejuvenated that feeling in me. <laughs>